Conglomerates is what I'll be reacting to today. I have never heard of these guys before. I saw my cousin react to this on his Twitch and I was like, what the hell is happening? Today I'll be reacting to one of their videos called The, Anim the Woman a Animated. The Woman. The, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's about. I've never heard of these guys before. Um, from looking at my cousin's video, it's a horror kind of creepy animated channel. I don't know. But let's get down to this. This is The Woman by Llama Art. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More details at the end of the video. The woman. It was a late, moonless, snowy night. I heard the chilling cry of a bobcat as I arrived home from my parents' house, where we had just had Thanksgiving dinner in northern Michigan. Exhausted, I had finally made it to my bed when my pregnant girlfriend asked for nacho cheese munchies. Reluctantly, I laced up my boots and went to my car. Due to the cold, it took me a while to start the car, which only made me more The irritated. guy was about to go to bed! But eventually, I got it started, and I arrived at the convenience store to retrieve my girlfriend's mandated snacks. As I left the store, walking back towards my car, I saw a shadow of movement out of the corner of my eye. What looked like a person stood near the dumpster, just out of the light. I stepped towards the figure, and she looked at me with a giant sinister smile. Her face was so weathered, it looked like she had cracks all over her face. She was crouched down and appeared to be chewing on something. I looked to see what she was chewing on. To my surprise, it was a severed arm. It looked old, as if it had been rotting for weeks. I saw her glance at something in her pocket. I could see the outline of what looked like a pocket knife. As soon as I looked back up, she quickly charged me. I pushed her away and then ran back to the convenience store. I burst through the door and frantically yelled towards the cashier to call the police as I turned to lock it. He asked me, what's going on? I scowled at him and said, please just call the cops. I looked back outside and saw the woman had moved across the street and was still scrutinizing me as she maintained her malevolent grin. Look, there's a girl out there It's a female Jeff the Killer. Looking over me, he replied, I don't see anyone out there, sir. Those words shook me, even to this day. When the police reached the gas station, they began looking around for the woman while one of the officers asked me what had happened. The art for this is pretty sick. I told them the sick. details of the encounter. One of the officers came back and said he couldn't find anything. I then took them back to where I first noticed her. We spent a few minutes intently searching, but there was no proof she was ever even there. The officer cocked his head and looked at me as if I was deranged and asked me in a judgmental tone. Look how worried the guy looks while looking at a cop. The officer don't even look like he's looking at him like, You dumb, there's nothing here. And the guys just look so worried. Are you feeling okay? I was about to defend myself, and then I started to think. I am tired, and I have had a couple of drinks, so I just told him, Yes, sir. Sorry for bothering you. I hope you have a nice night. And then I drove home. I got home at around 4 o'clock in the morning. So he didn't... My girlfriend greeted me with an anger but concerning tone of voice. So where's the she snacks he originally went out... Where were you? Went out Are for. Are you okay? So I told her everything that happened. Of course, she didn't believe me. I couldn't get to sleep that night. I sat in my bed questioning my sanity, wondering if it was all even real. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just tired. But... No, that can't be it. I I saw it. But if I saw it, why was there no proof? Where did the arm go? Where did she go? Before I knew it, it was seven in the morning and I had to go to work. If any of you guys can hear tapping, it's I'm sitting near a window and it's open and it's raining heavily. So if anyone can hear tapping, uh yeah, it, it's raining. 
I threw on my jacket as I was about to head to the construction site, and I put my hand in my pocket and noticed that there was a hole in it. It wasn't there the other day. I thought, what if she caught my jacket as I ran? Which further proves my suspicion that she was real. I couldn't believe it. How is a hole in a pocket? Went wild until my girlfriend kissed me goodbye. I told my friends at work what had happened, and they didn't believe me either. They made jokes about it the entire day. But I had my bowling tournament that day, so that gave me something to look forward to. I got home and hung my vest and jacket up and rapidly put on my bowling shoes and got my bowling ball. My girlfriend looked at me with a pleasant smile and said, When will you be back? Probably around 11. <laughs> Don't be long. I won't. At around 10.30, the tournament had finally finished, and we had won. I was so thrilled I had forgotten about the woman. As we were leaving, I noticed something at the other end of the parking lot. It was that psychotic woman. We stared Where's at each arms? other for what felt like an eternity. She slowly started moving towards me while waving her knife in the air and making cuts. I quickly jumped into my car and turned it on. As I looked up, I saw she was standing in front of me, staring at me. Run the she bitch over! I over to my window, and she said in a quiet, deep, and scratchy voice, Little big, little big, let me in! I was frozen in fear, but I snapped back to reality when she banged on the roof of my car, screaming. I quickly slammed my foot on the accelerator and didn't let off it until I couldn't see her anymore. When I arrived home, I told my girlfriend what had happened. Like last time, she didn't believe me. I really thought I was insane, but I tried to forget about it and get some sleep. Later that night, I woke up and saw her in my room. All she said was let me in, over and over. As she got closer, she then started shouting. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in! Come on, Paul. Stop being difficult. Let me in! I was wondering how in the world my girlfriend Holy had crap. on. The woman was right next to me and held up a knife to me. That's when I fainted. I woke startled in my room dripping with sweat. Then I remembered I don't have a girlfriend, nor a house, or a family. Come on, Paul. Time for your morning meds. Let me in. He's in an asylum. Uh... What did I watch? I am so subscribing to these people. Holy shit. Not gonna lie. When she jumped, well, not jumped, got in his face when they were in bed and said, let me in. I thought I saw some something here. I'm just seeing things. Wow. Um, yeah. I'm actually speechless because I've never seen these guys before i've never seen this video before but i'm definitely seeing more of these videos from now on what did you guys think it got me on edge i'll admit that uh what probably gave me goosebumps is the voice of the woman and yeah did not expect that thank you to my cousin tyler for Telling me about these lot, these guys. If you lot want to see his reaction to one of their videos, I'll put his thing here on the screen. And I'll leave his link to his channel down below. If you guys like the this llama art, wow, just amazing artwork and pretty sick, decent enough animation. Better than I can do. If you guys want to see this type of video, or this video in general, and have your reaction to it, then I'll leave the link to this video, well, their video to this, and their channel in the description. Llama Art. 
funky name. Fun videos. Goosebumpy videos, if they even that's a word. Um, I strongly suggest you guys go subscribe to them. Go check their work out. I'm... I'm gonna go now. Probably get therapy. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And you'll be surprised what kind of stuff I see. So anyway, this is my this has been my reaction to Llama Art. If you guys want to see it, go subscribe. Thank you to my cousin. Now I regret asking what it's about. Uh, until next time, whatever video I'll probably react to, uh, stay safe, stay crazy. Stay, yeah, stay safe from this stuff. Peace.